and welcome back to the world's greatest elementary school. We are so excited to share with you final totals from our five yes. runs. Tigers, you all did an incredible job giving pledges to help support our PTA and all of the things they do for Shadow Lake. As you know, our goal for the fun run was $25,000. Okay, here's our grand total. Did we make it? We raised $30,700. Oh, wow! Way to go, Tigers! PTA will be delivering prizes starting this week, but we wanted to take some time in Tiger TV to recognize some of our top earners. First of all, here are the top classes in each grade level. Remember, top classes will be having a popcorn party. So, in kindergarten, it's Mrs. Simmons class with $1,407. In first grade, it's Mrs. Nelson's class with $3,003. That was also our top class for the school. Nice job. In second grade, it was Mrs. Courtney's camps class at $2,655. What about third grade, Mr. Gabby? Third grade, our top class was Mrs. Ogles with $2,200. $112. Fourth grade, Mrs. Bradley's class was $1,765. And then fifth grade, Mrs. Isley's class, you're the winner with $1,020. Way to go to each of our top classes. Here is our top overall grade level with $7,104 is first grade. Way to go, first graders. Now here are the top earners in each grade level. In kindergarten, we have Audrey R with 67, oh, I'm sorry, $670 in Simmons. First grade is Avery with 625 in Nelson. Second grade was Charlie with 615 in Corden Camp. Third grade, Colby, $1,120 in Miss Ogles, and he gets the Seahawks jersey yes. that he picked and already ordered. In fourth grade, it's Harlow F with $450 in Mrs. Bradley's room, and Surya in fifth grade in Isley's room with $355. Our top earner for Shadow Lake was Colby in Miss Ogle's class with a total of $1,120. Way to go, Cole. Again, he'll be getting that Seahawks jersey, and he also wins the Top Dog Award, this giant stuffed animal dog. Wow, what a fun run. We definitely want to celebrate how well we did with the fun run. And speaking of celebrating, our success, Mr. Mitchell, you know a great way that we can celebrate all we've accomplished this year? It's by getting a yearbook. Oh my God. Yes, yearbooks are on sale now until May 5th. So make sure you talk to your parents about ordering one before May 5th. Ordering information is available in Tiger Family News and it was also sent home to emails to each of our families. Parents, our PTA who puts together the yearbook would also like to ask your help if you have any pictures from events or spirit days please get those submitted so we can have some of those in our yearbook information was also sent home about submitting those pictures that's very cool and hey tigers this is last week of april so don't forget to get your pause reading logs filled out and turned in next monday may 2nd remember your stamp each day that you read for at least 20 minutes that's how you do it and we love to celebrate all of our readers as long as we are talking about reading well guess what reading books at home is so important and tigers we have a very special opportunity starting next week we know that a lot of our kids have a lot of books at home and maybe you're done reading them so all of our Tahoma schools across the whole district are going to be doing a book dress we're collecting new and gently used books for the Maple Valley Food Bank's book stop yeah this is a place where families in our community are able to go to get books and they're able to get kids are able to get their libraries kind of up to where they need to be because maybe they don't have as many books. So if you can do this, take some books, look at them at home and see if maybe from your own home library you want to give some books. Because in the past five years, the book stop has given away over 12,000 wow. books. Now is your chance to help restock on a shelf. So from May 2nd to the 13th, we're going to be collecting these gently used books to donate to the book stop. Our district goal is to collect 5,000 books. Wow, I think we can get there. I, I think we can definitely get there. All right, Mr. Abby, I was kind of thinking, I don't know. There's Oh, what's for lunch this week? Oh, yeah, yeah. Here is this week's lunch menu, Tigers. All right, today, Monday, chicken nuggets. Tomorrow, Tuesday, is going to be corn dog. Love corn dog day. Mm -hmm. Wednesday is going to be pizza bagel. Thursday, garlic cheese toast. Mm -hmm. Friday, Friday. Pizza! All right, Tigers, last Friday was Earth Day, and our Shadow Lake Green Team has been doing a lot 
to show leadership in helping our Earth and also helping all of us. Remember to check out our Green Team's Earth Week Choice Board. You can choose an activity to, to explore and enjoy. Every action we take helps our environment and you can earn point as a Green Team sustaining school. So help out our Green Team doing that. Remember to share photos as well. Here is a very special recycling announcement from our Green Team. When you're going to this one's room, you could actually, there's a bin here and you could recycle Kroger items and plastics that are reusable. Because it helps save the brand and more money for us Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Green Team, for all you are doing down Shadow Lake. All right, everybody, it's time to recognize some of our amazing tigers with our Tiger Paw ticket drawings for this week. Mr. Abby, who are the winners for kindergarten? Oh, it's my favorite thing, recognizing some of our students for showing the tiger way. For kindergarten, we have Miana in Mrs. Simmons' class. We have Gemma in Mrs. Hurley's class. We have Vesuvia in Mrs. Belmondo's class. And we have Tyler in Mrs. K's class. Hey, in first grade, we have Emma in Mrs. Robert's class. Room, Jude in Mrs. Hansen's class, Evan in Mrs. Uh, Riley's Yvonne. class, Yvonne, yep. oh, Yvonne, you're yes, right, yes. I read it wrong, yep. Yvonne in Mrs. Riley's class, and Bert in Mrs. Nelson's class. Moving on to second grade, we have Tiana in Mrs. Cortenkamp's class, Ainsley, you're the winner in Mrs. Elsner's room, and then we have Caleb in Mrs. Shireman's room, and rounding out, we have Jacob from Mrs. Meek's class. Nice job, second graders. Hey, third graders, we have Suzuka in Mrs. Boyle's room, Michael V in Mrs. Skeen's class, Elizabeth in Mrs. McAllen's room, and Max in Mrs. Ogle's room. All right, way to go, third graders. And moving on to fourth grade. Our winners are Harlow in Mrs. Bradley's room, Richard in Mrs. Moffat's class. We have uh, Judd in Mr. McMaster's class. And then Jeremy in Mrs. Spangler's. Oh my gosh, there's so many winners. Hey, in fifth grade, the winners are Aiden in Mr. K's class, Amelia in Mrs. Sp Ms. Isaac's class, sorry, and Sophia in Miss McCutcheon's room. And as always, winners, when it's convenient for your teacher, they can send you down to the office to pick up your prize from the Tiger Paw Treasure Chest. All right, Mr. Abby. This is my, my favorite time every single week. What's going on with story time this week? All right, today Mrs. Smith is going to be reading a book that really rocks. It's called, We Will Rock Our Classmates. What? Oh, I love that book. It's a new one. I really like it. All right, Tigers, we hope you have a fantastic week. At this time, please turn your attention to your teacher for the Pledge of Allegiance. And remember, it's a great day to be a tiger. There's a mountain top. That I'm dreaming of If you need me, you know where I'll be I'll be riding shotgun Underneath the hot sun Feeling like a someone Hey, Tigers! Welcome back to Storytime! I'm super excited to read another story. Today's story is We Will Rock Our Classmates! And this is written by Ryan T. Higgins. He's the same author that wrote we don't eat our classmates. So do you remember Penelope? All right, so this was a new book that I just bought at our book fair a couple weeks ago. So I'm super excited. So you'll see this in the library very soon. All right, we will rock our classmates. All right, this is a paperback book and it's kind of long in length here. So we'll see if I can hold it up the right way. All right, Penelope was the only T-Rex in her school. Sometimes that made her stand out a little. Class photo, look at that. We just had one of those the other day too. Did anybody have a T-Rex in their class photo? Dinosaur or not, Penelope loved to play. She loved to read. It says, good night. Tasty moose all wrapped in bologna. Good night, tasty goose with a side dish of pony. There she is reading. Mmm, ponies. And she loved to draw. <laughs> She's drawing. She's trying to draw the deer as he runs. Wait, I won't eat you. I don't even have any mustard. <laughs> But the one thing Penelope loved to do more than anything else was to make music. She loved to sing. She loved to play the guitar. Penelope loved 
to rock and roll. <clears throat> so when Mrs. Noodle Man told the class about the school talent show, Penelope was excited. She was also nervous. She wanted to rock her classmates, but could she do it? <clears throat> Also, the sign-up sheet was right next to Walter, the ferocious goldfish. <laughs> oh, he's very, very ferocious. Penelope took a deep breath. She had to do it. She tiptoed past Walter. Then she quickly wrote her name with her bravest purple marker. It says, name Penelope, talent, rock and roll. After school, Penelope shared the big news with her parents. And I'm going to wear a pink tutu and big boots and spike my scales and look angry, but I'll actually be really happy. And oh, it's going to be so great. She hummed her favorite songs while brushing her teeth. She danced all the way to the bus. She even told her classmates about her favorite band, The Weevils. Best band ever. My dad used to go to all their concerts until he accidentally ate the drummers. <laughs> At last, it was time for rehearsal. Can dinosaurs even play guitar? On stage, Penelope froze. She could not sing. She could not play guitar. She worried that dinosaurs could not rock and roll. Penelope was very quiet on the car ride home. She hardly ate anything for supper. Are you sure you don't want more penny pie? You've only had 52 burgers. The next day at recess, Penelope sat alone on the bench. She would not play hopscotch. I'm a T-Rex, not a hopscotcher. She would not play duck, duck, goose. I am not a duck or another duck or a goose. I am a dinosaur. At the end of the day, Penelope crossed her name off the sign-up sheet with her saddest blue marker. When Penelope got home, she went straight to her room. Daddy Rex came in to talk to her. Is everything okay? He asked. I can't be in the talent show, she cried. I am just a dinosaur. Ah, uh, I see, said Daddy Rex. Come with me. Take a look at this family photo album. This is your Uncle Frank. He was a figure skater. Oh, and here's your mom, finishing her first marathon. And here's me, the world hamburger eating champion. I ate 5,053 hamburgers with ketchup. You see, said Daddy Rex, being a T-Rex is only part of who you are. You, for instance, are kind and caring, creative and adventurous and you can be anything you want to be. The next day at school, Penelope marched back over to the sign-up sheet. She looked straight at Walter and almost lost her nerve. But Penelope's, cl Penelope's classmates had a different idea. Can we play with you in your band? Please, Penelope? and that gave her just enough courage. On the night of the show, Penelope was really excited and also really nervous. She peeked out from backstage to try and find her parents. When the curtains opened, William Amoto and his amazing animal sounds took the stage. 
chirp, roar, howl, tweet, tweet, burr, wah, honk. Mabel Hastings and her dancing pony went second. Tappity tap tap, tappity tap tap. Then there was Stegman Brothers' synchronized swimming mimes act, followed by Martina Cortez and her dazzling card tricks. Your card was the Ten of Hearts. No? Was it the Elephant of Spades? <laughs> Finally, it was Penelope's turn. The lights on the stage were bright, but not as bright as Penelope. We are Penelope and the Mustard Seeds. Penelope was a T-Rex. She was also kind and caring and creative and adventurous. Most of all, Penelope Rex was a rock star. Penelope and the Mustard Seeds came in second place, just behind Mabel Hastings and her dancing pony. That was okay with Penelope. She loved ponies. Mmm, ponies. <laughs> and that is, we will rock our classmates. Hopefully Penelope doesn't eat that pony. All right, you guys, remember, just be yourselves. Be your awesome selves, all right? That's why people love you. And that's why we love you. So remember, it's a great day to be a tiger and have a super day, you guys.